Hey guys, welcome back to Wilson Nerdy TV Junior for the match review of Milan Sassuolo. Match that ended 2 1 for Sassuolo, the San Zero. And guys, what can I say? Very terrible performance from the entire team. I really can't even pinpoint someone that played particularly well today. So, very terrible performance, disgraceful, with no desire. I can't stress it anymore, guys. Just pitiful performance from Milan today. Uh, of course, coming in quite strong actually in the start of the game with the goal from Poli in the opening 10 minutes. Uh, of course, very well played there. Poli with a great goal. Found himself at the right place at the right time to put in the back of the net. But after that, for the 80 minutes after that goal, it was completely disgraceful performance from Milan. The whole team was sleeping. Midfield inexistent. Defense sleeping on set pieces. Really, I can't understand how Milan could allow themselves to something like this, especially against a team like Sassuolo. Which, of course, they've been doing actually quite well this season. They picked up many good results, of course, uh, against top teams. However, guys, going into 2015, uh, in the first match, of course, you're expecting a performance full of grit from Milan. A performance where, you know, you have to fix your objectives. Even Berlusconi said it. This team... Is a team that could go far in Italy, win the Coppa Italia, and so forth, okay? I could agree with that, okay? Because we do have the players. I'm pretty sure that if we do play to our uh, expectations with these players, I'm pretty sure we could go far in Italy. Maybe not win the Scudetto. Maybe not get the second place. But I'm pretty sure we could attain that third place valid for the Champions League qualification. So, I don't understand, of course, uh, why Milan played like this today, okay? Of course, we were missing De Jong, a very essential player for our midfield, which many people still think is replaceable. I don't understand how someone could think of that. But we saw it today that SCN just simply doesn't do it. Too slow, uh, just makes way too many mistakes, bad passes, Montolivo as well, you know. He tries to create, but he's not the best of playmakers. And that is what we're lacking, of course. Uh, so midfield inexistent, of course, can't... Even uh, be considered as a barrier for the defense, which was completely, of course, left alone in many situations. Of course, I'm not only blaming the midfield because the defense themselves, they left lots of gaps. And I'm particularly talking about that first goal there from Sansone. Uh, but other than that, guys, really, I don't understand what to make of this performance. Losing against Asuolo is a disgrace, of course, for a team like Milan. Uh, this shouldn't be happening at all. Uh... So really, the fans were right to whistle the players down at the full-time whistle because that is what they deserve. And Zaghi came out after the game. He said it himself, deserved loss because that's exactly what it is, deserved loss. No one took out, uh, no one showed their balls really today in today's performance just to say no one gave any desire to this team altogether. We saw the introduction of Cherchi in the second half. Of course, he didn't play in a very long time, so you can't be expecting miracles from the guy. You can't be expecting to change his Milan side from one side to another. So, obviously, um, Cherchi going in, you know, giving him a bit of uh, self-esteem, a bit of motivation to do well. He had some chances on goal, but of course, it's not the player we're expecting just of yet. It's going to take lots of time. Other than that, guys... Uh, some other players I could talk to in particular, Menez, really inexistent today. Had some chances himself, but he decided to go with his own uh, kind of shot and no, uh, not even looking for options. So uh, that it wasn't good at all for Milan. Uh, another thing I didn't particularly like was in the last 10 minutes where, of course, Sassuolo was everyone back defending. Montolivo just getting the ball and f sending it in as a bullet. As I don't know what, uh, a cannonball or something. Why are you doing this? Why don't you just play on the floor and try to create an action? Simply because Milan doesn't have that playmaker that could do that. Always these long balls, especially in the last minutes. Of course, Asuolo is going to win most of them. And they did with no obvious problem in that second half. So uh, really, you know, it was a, it was a day at the field for uh, Sassuolo. Really, no problems. They were expected to go to the San Siro and be under pressure for the entire game. And they really walked out of the San Siro laughing with those three points in the bag. That's exactly what happened for Sassuolo today. 
So really, you can't make excuses for Milan. Of course, the game is done. There's nothing else you can do about it. But they really have to think about this game again. Because it, it just shows, it just goes to show that Milan need to perform in every, every game. Because any team in this Serie A could give them problems. It's not going to be a walk in the park against any team for Milan, okay? Milan is a team, of course, still in transition. That... Picks up results against uh, good teams and loses lots of points against the bad teams. And that is completely unacceptable, guys. You know, uh, you got to be consistent. Way too many ties this season so far. Not enough wins. Six wins in 17 matches. That's completely unacceptable. I'm still surprised myself that we're in the current position that we are and only five points behind third place. Really, it should be way more. So, of course, Milan need to do way better because so far what they have done is just not good enough for uh, the team. That is it, guys. Leave your match comments, of course. Let me know what you guys thought of the performance, what you thought of the game in general, what you think should change at Milan in order to avoid further stupid losses like this one. Let me know in the comments section, guys. Of course, next match is against Torino uh, on the weekend. So, hopefully, we do pick up the points there. Of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe to Rose TV to stay updated with match previews, reviews, fan reactions, discussions, and much more. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Gigo from Rose TV, signing off, and as usual, Forza Milan.